Okay, uh, right now we will make introduction for uh, four edge cutting saw. Firstly, we turn on the power. Okay, we press this button to enter the system. Okay, we have these windows, manual operate, auto operate, speed sighting, server mining, fault monitoring, time setting, and the baffle feed to us. Uh, we will make an introduction one by one. Firstly, we press this button. Okay, you can see this area. Uh, we have the four blades, four saw blades. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Okay. On the machine, you can check here. Okay, this here, this is a number one saw blade, number two, number three, number four. Okay, we have saw, I will four saw blades. Okay, we will show uh, each function. Uh, uh, firstly, we will show uh, this is over there. Okay, we will show uh, uh, this one. The number four, it will be easier. This this button can light the saw blade up and down. Okay, we press this button. Okay, you can take here. We This is uh, this button. This button uh, to control the saw blade up and down. Okay. We also have other buttons. You know, for the saw blade backward and forward, and the saw blade start. Okay. Uh, we press the button. Okay. You see, saw blade will forward. Okay. We press backward. So backward is uh, faster. Okay. Forward is cutting, so it the speed is slow. For backward is free, free load, so we get very fast. Okay. Also, we will uh, start start the saw blade. This is a manual control for the four saw blades. We also have other buttons. This is a, a press cylinder. Okay. Okay, you can check here. Press cylinder. Okay, you can take here. Okay. okay. So for the cylinder, we can adjust the uh, the location for each cylinder to uh, to fit for the door size. Okay, uh, when we change into different sizes doors, we can move the cylinders uh, places uh, to to light the door price uh, correctly. Okay, we can uh, show this this one. Okay. Can feel right. Okay, the feed rack we can go uh, running backward or run, running forward. Okay, we can change the running direction. Okay, we can try it.
Okay, now we finish the uh, introduction for this window. We can go to next one. The next one is auto-operate. Uh, after the, uh, the machine is set up well, we can do the uh, production by this window. Okay, uh, here is a cutting size for the uh, door panel. Uh, we can uh, set up the cutting size here. This is the length, this is the width. For the, the machine, we can use a keyboard input. Okay, uh, for example, I want to get uh, 1,500 millimeter long. Okay, 800 millimeter wide, wide, okay. Also, we can use a scanner, scanner, okay, to input the size. We can select this button, and okay, we can use this, this scanner. Okay, you can check here. It's a 700, 700 by 1,700, okay. I will scan it. You can check here. Okay, it's the 700 and 1700. Okay, so uh, when we uh, do the scan scanning, we can just uh, press this button auto adjust, so the size will change into the, this data. Okay, uh, here we have the alarm reset. If we have the uh, emergency stop alarm, okay. When we turn on it, okay. If we have other alarm, we can press this alarm reset to delete the, the alarm showing. Okay. Uh, next window, we will uh, introduce this, this one. This is a servo menu. Servo menu, uh, that means for the I X axis cutting and the Y axis cutting, uh, we have the servo motor control, servo driving system. So, uh, in order to make the servo, uh, servo system working uh, correctly, uh, for each uh, each time uh, starting after turn on the power, we need to let the X Y to go to the original places, go to the zero places. So we uh, for, we need to press this and this and this to let the let them go back to the zero places. Also, we, we have this menu functions for the pusher or the stop baffle, you know, we can uh, uh, operate it by, by these buttons manually. Okay. So I, I press this one. Okay. For example, I push this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, okay. Okay, you can take here. You turn the button. The push, push up. Later, we will uh, make introduction for another window, speed setting, okay, wait a moment. Okay, we will uh, see another window for the speed setting. For the speed setting, you know, uh, we have, we, we can set up the speed for the saw, number one, number two, and number three and four. Three and four is the same together, okay. This is number three and this is number four. So the cutting speed and the return speed is uh, one, one speed, okay? Also, we have the feed, the feeding speed. In feed first and in feed slow, okay? Uh, okay, uh, I will uh, use uh, saw number three, number four as an example to make an introduction. Uh, for the advanced speed, you know, this, this is a, uh, Cutting speed. Uh, the speed we can adjust it uh, as per the door thickness. If the door is thicker, you know we can use a slower speed. For for example, we can use a, a 15 speed. 
Okay, if the door thickness is very thick, uh, we can use a uh, now it is thinner. If the door is thinner, we can use a fast faster speed. For example, I use a uh, twenty five. Okay, so we can change it. Okay, uh, this backward speed we have two speed, two two stage speed. For the first stage, the return speed is very fast, and when uh, go to the the final, the final distance, it will change slower to make it safety. Okay, I will, uh, uh, for example, this I want to change into 45. Okay, this is, uh, uh, okay, 10. Okay, keep it. Okay, we go back to the manual operation and we can um, check it. Okay, this is a number. This is uh, for the number three, number four, for the feeding uh, forward and backward, okay? We will press this, press this one, you can check this, okay? Okay, this is a carding speed. Okay, I will show the, the return speed. So for the return speed, it's very fast. Come here, it's low, okay? I will change another one, okay? Uh, for example, I want to this slower. If the door thickness is bigger, I want the slow cutting speed. Okay, I change this. And uh, for this, I, ch I change into uh, 40. Uh, this is a uh, fail. Okay, we do another, another, another test, uh, test, okay, you can see. So for the carding speed, it is a slower. Okay, it is changing, changing slower. Okay. We let it go back. Right. So this is a speed setting window. Okay, this is same. We can change this same, same, same method. Okay. Then we will go another my another window. This servo menu we already make in production. So that for this one, uh, this uh, this buttons X Y uh, drop uh, drop forward and backward. Uh, this is advanced. This is uh, is wrong. Okay, this is a drop advanced for X. So for this we can uh, move move the. X, Y, manual, manually, okay? I will pr press this, you can check here. Okay, you can check here. You see? Okay, this is uh, uh, forward, move forward. Okay, and uh, let it backward. Okay, also for the Y, Y1, Y2. Okay, that is Y1, this is Y1. Okay. okay, this is five. Okay, why two is that one? Okay, see? This is why two. Okay. So for that is uh, when the machine is just uh, turn on power, okay, we need to let the X, Y, Y1, Y2 go back to zero. We just press this button. Okay, you can check here. Okay. So all go back to the zero places. For the X, Y, okay, Y1, Y2. Okay. So we will uh, make introduction. Uh, this window for the monitoring. For this, for this, you know, we have each input and output. Uh, the status it can show the status for for, uh, for each one. Okay, for example, the emergency the emergency stop. So we can press it. You can change it into right. Okay, so it can it, it can show the status for each input and output. Okay. Another one is time sighting. The time sighting uh, is for the delay setup for for each like the pusher. Uh, the feeding, okay. The the motor starting, okay. We can we can change it here, you know. So for this, uh, for in the user factory, it 
it don't, doesn't need to change because for all of this will be set up well before the machine leaves the factory. So we can take a photo uh, to keep to keep a memory. Uh, if this delay is changed in mistake, we can uh, change back as per the photo as, as per the record. Okay. Another one is here. Here we have the the trim. The trim for the edge, trimming, trimming edge, uh, input window, okay? Okay, we, we have, the, this is a long, the board long trim size and the board width trimming size, okay? We can change it. Uh, that is depend on the, uh, the door, how much you want to trim, okay? Uh, for the long, for the long trim, you know, you can check here, this is long. The door edge, this is long, okay? Uh, for the trimming in the controller, for the trimming adjustment, we just uh, uh, set up this one, this saw blade, number two. For this one, we cannot uh, uh, set up the, uh, the trimming distance uh, in system. Only uh, manually, by the mechanical, we can check here. Uh, because because this saw blade is fixed on the bed on the bearing guard, so it cannot move automatically by the controller. Okay, so when we want to set up the trimming size, we just change it by manual. Okay, here it shows the trimming size. Right now it is uh, uh, five millimeter. Okay, right now it is five millimeter. How to uh, adjust it? Uh, firstly, we will unlock this this knob. Okay, we un we loosen this knob and adjust the the handle wheel here. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, for example, if I want to set up the trimming trimming size into ten millimeter for each saw blade. Okay, here this one also change into ten millimeter. I will loosen this. Okay, I will loosen this knob and. Uh, and turn on the turn on the hand wheel to let the pointer to the ten millimeter. Okay. Okay. Right now it's ten millimeter, and we relock this uh, uh, this handle, and also change also change here into ten millimeter. Okay. This one also uh, 10 millimeter. And confirm, press the confirm button to change here. Okay, right now is confirmed. Uh, the trimming size is recorded in the system. So we need to make sure for, for this one, for the trimming size, the system trimming size uh, must be same as the mechanical, me mechanical trimming size. Uh, the mechanical trimming size is 10 millimeter. Here must be uh, 10 millimeter. So it should be the uh, same every time. Okay. Here we introduce this. This is a feeding mode. We have a forward feeding and a return feeding. Okay. We can check here. Uh, for the forward feeding mode, it means this we load we load the door panel from here and we'll feed into the table and do the carting and the feed out from uh, that, uh, that, uh, this side, that side, okay? We'll feed out from that side. If we select the return mode, it will not feed out from there. It will, it will be come back here. Uh, for example, it will load the door panel from here to the, to the table and do the carting. After carting, we will go back to here. So by this, you can just uh, save the working space in the back okay. Uh This is a feeding, feeding toy. We can, uh, and, uh, we can press this button like this. That means the feeding table doesn't work. Press this, feeding toys means the feeding, ta the feeding table work, okay? This we can use the hookup or doesn't use the hookup, okay? The hookup is this. 
the, this, this side pusher, okay? We can select using this or not using this, okay? Okay, right now we finish all of uh, all of the machines, uh, the, the controller, okay, each windows, we, we finish the introduction. For the next time, we will make an introduction uh, how to uh, operate, okay, how to do the uh, formal, formal carting for the door. Okay, thank you.